The National Peace Council, in partnership with the U.S. government and the West African Network for Peace Building, WANEP, has launched a northern regional branch of the Regional Election Early Warning and Response Group in Tamale, in the northern region. Now, the system, according to the representative of USAID, Nana Sewa Mwako, is in response to a pledge by the U.S. President Barack Obama during the 2014 U.S. African Leadership Summit to work with West African governments to strengthen election warning and response systems throughout Africa. Zubeda Ismail joins us via phone. She is our correspondent there to give us some more updates. Now, hello Zubeda. Hello, Wendy. Now, why the focus firstly on the northern region? Is it because it's an election hotspot? Um, the focus uh, in the northern region is because uh, the northern region has been characterized with some form of uh, electoral violence uh, in the past years. And, and uh, though uh, in the recent uh, election that was held in the northern region, that was uh, four years ago, the region did not record any violence again. And so that has necessitated the launch of uh, this uh, project here in the northern region to ensure that stakeholders are brought together and they are sensitized uh, 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 on the fact that uh, there could be an outbreak of violence, especially from the northern region. A clear example uh, was given as a book where we some form of violence during the uh, the last uh, elections. And so they are looking at the, the three northern regions, that is the northern region, the upper east and the upper west region, are noted for uh, engaging in electoral violence. And that is the reason for the project here. Now, can you tell us some of the key specific stakeholders there before you mention what the, what the responsibility of the warning group, response group will be? Who are the various stakeholders attending this program? Uh, we have the representative of the UNDP, we have the USAID, we have the Northern Regional Peace Council, members of the Northern Regional Peace Council. We have uh, the Northern Regional uh, Military Commander, we have the Northern Regional Minister, we have um, some other stakeholders, we have chiefs uh, also uh, being part of this committee, and then they are all to be uh, uh, there to monitor uh, community-based uh, electoral violence. We also have um, members from the uh, uh, um, civil society where they are, where, where we have their representatives. They are only going to represent the community and the members of the various uh, organizations that we have here in the northern region. So, what specifically is their responsibility to work with the community, like you've mentioned? Yes, um, the, the 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 responsibility as one is to ensure that electoral conflict threats at the grassroots level receive immediate attention and response at the regional level. They will also provide direct input into the National Peace Council's initiatives. Mm -hmm. And they are also there to identify and analyze and report electoral uh, violence from the various communities to the Regional Peace Council, which will then also be forwarded to the Regional uh, Task Force. All right. Well, thank you very much, Zubeda Ismail, for that update. She is our correspondent up north, giving us some more information related to the elections.